That is kind of concerning, huh? Anybody leave a bag? Dude, this is spooky back here. Yo, what is up fam? Happy October 3rd. Yo, a lot can change in just one day or even half a day. I'm actually headed to the airport to go to Indiana to start filming some awesome locations for you guys. As a matter of fact, as soon as I land, I'm gonna be uploading this video completely uncut, but I'm adding a little vlog in the beginning of it. Right now I'm at a place called Cars HQ in Atlanta. It's kind of like a new car shop. They do uh, all kind of sports cards, Pokemon, and I got a bag full of football cards. And my thinking was, I'm gonna sell these to pay for the trip. So come inside and let's see what happens. So this is a huge place. So they buy over here, but this place is monstrous. Like, look at the size of it. You wanna talk about all kind of amazing stuff? That's the owner right there talking. His name is Jeff Wilson. I'll link his channel below. It's called uh, Sports Card Investor. It's actually a very large uh, channel for this type of content. So if you're into like sports collectibles, Pokemon, stuff like that, got a pretty cool channel. His kids even have a channel as well, which is pretty neat. So I set up all the cards that I bought, which are right here. And then we'll see what we'll do here when we take a look at them. Yo guys, all right, I'm headed out to the airport. I gotta hurry up. My boy Chase over here. I gave him a good, he gave me a good offer for these. We got it, we're getting out of here right now. But dude, thank you for helping me out. All right guys, finally out of there. They were helping somebody else that was selling a ton of cards. And like, they weren't gonna be done for a while. And I'm like, I'm gonna miss my flight. I'm like, listen, can I make you a crazy offer? I should sell this for about four to 450. I said, can you do a, can I just make you a crazy quick offer so we can get out of here? Made it to the airport. Got an hour before my flight, I'm gonna book it. And I'll see you when we get to the, I'll see you when we get there. That is kind of concerning, huh? Anybody leave a bag? Yeah, that's weird, huh? Yeah, that's not normal. No. That's uh, a little alarming. Yeah. I've never seen a bag just left there unattended like that. Weird. They probably did, yeah, what but I was thinking, yeah, but then they forgot it. It is yeah. dumb to do. You're right. Damn. I used to carry a briefcase when I was in high school, mm -hmm. and so I'd walk into like the seniors area, and Everyone I'd just be, be like, I just, I just, you know, casually go up and just set my briefcase down and walk away, just to make everybody nervous. <laughs> yeah, but not at an airport. But they all do it with me. Somebody come get you. This They're like, what the hell is Fish's briefcase? That's freaking weird. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it's a good skip. And we're getting away. Hey, I'm okay getting away from that bag. I'm yeah, I'm okay getting away from that bag. No problem. No problem. That was great timing. Really cut the line. Hold up. Holy crap. Hello. Good, how are you? Heck yeah. All right. Dude, that was my greatest experience ever at an airport. Oh yeah. You walked us into that, right? Dude. Maybe it was the bag, I don't know. Thanks for that bag. Dude. I really want to know what happened with that fellow. I ain't complaining. I ain't gonna lie, that was cool. Like, we saw a bag just sitting there and uh, we mentioned it to them. They announced if it was anybody's bag, nobody claimed it. And then when I walked down to the end of the aisle, they opened up a new aisle for me, then another new one. And we got right to the front of a new section. How great was that? Like, awesome. Now we have to take a train. And I'll see you there. Next stop is for D Gates. Bag I have right here. They asked me to put it in the personal item. It did not fit. It was about three inches too big. 
when I got on the flight, they were like, oh, well, that's gonna be $100. I'm like, $100? I opened it up, took a pair of sweatpants out, crinkled everything together, and it fit. I said, I'm good? She's like, yep. I'm like, you know what, for a $20 pair of sweatpants, I'll save 100 bucks. All right, we're in Cincinnati. Got a lot to do in one day. Got me a pizza? Yeah, buddy. The bag I got right just enjoyed that pizza. Yum, very good. Just got into Cincinnati just a little bit. Right now I'm in Rushville, Indiana. I got my friend Chris that came pick me up. Thank you, Chris. Hey, I gotta get that hub. <laughs> Wait, can I find it? Come on. Freaking Radio Shack, that's open. No freaking way. I did not know there was a Radio Shack open in this entire country i did not know there was any radio shack still open let me know do you guys have a radio shack near you dude have you seen another radio shack anywhere else not that i know that is a boy radio shack i mean you didn't seem surprised you must have seen it before no i've been there before have you yeah i go down there too did this town we were just going through like i kind of started recording too late very oh wow look at that very cool old town here in rushville indiana never been through here before Dude, this place is cool. Bro, you don't know what it is either? No, I don't know. It's like some kind of something in the air, right? I think it's from that factory or something, dude. I don't know, dude. But it's all the way over here. Yeah, I see it, yeah. So either they're working in the field. The fact that I seen it, you know what I mean? He's like, we better roll the windows up pretty quick because there's like this fog, gas, smoke, too. something. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, I mean, that. I wonder what that factory produces some nasty stuff. You wouldn't think it'd be good. I don't know why it'd be all the way over here. I didn't see it when I was coming down here. Yo, what's good, fam? So I flew into Cincinnati, Ohio today, last minute yesterday. I'm in hot South Carolina, then Ohio. Drove three hours to Indiana, where I'm about to get to a haunted location. I'm actually picking up some paranormal equipment at my buddy Chris's house right now. He has a crazy spare box and some rim pods. Then I'm headed over to do an overnight challenge at one of the craziest haunted locations in this area. Good morning, fam. It is day four. That's October 4th, which is Friday. Did a video last night where I filmed like uncut, dropped it onto YouTube. That was a lot to do in one day. I was in three different states filmed the video and got it up for you guys why some of these small towns got such awesome city halls i mean it's like city hall takes over the coolest buildings in town not fair right now i'm in a place called sweetwater here in fort wayne indiana and it's supposed to be like one of the biggest music stores aka um stores for podcasters and creators so i'm gonna check this out what's up chris this place looks dope, bro. Wait, is this a museum or is this a store? Well, that part is like these in equipment of like crazy. Oh, okay. Dude. Yeah, I love that. I love to travel the country and something like that still to today. Look at that. That is awesome. Things in great condition, too. Cool, bro. They've got studios and all that. They've got everything. Yeah podcast equipment and everything cool everything. what's in here is this like a mall it's like a mall for a freaking holy yeah, crap yeah, bro no shoot yeah. this is the america so this is actually the largest in america yeah, largest in the world for in the world, world. Yeah. get the hell out of here this is dope let's play a ukulele can you play any instruments Music, bro, <laughs> bro I a lot of people don't know this about me, but I almost went professional as a musician. I don't know if you knew about this about me. And I don't know if you guys knew this. Yeah, bro, I was ranked number three in the entire state of Florida. I played the triangle. I was ranked number three triangle player. In the state. <laughs> no. No. Oh my God, look at this. Bro, this is sweet, bro. No way. Wow, that's a lot of pianos, bro. I've never seen that many pianos. Dude, this is awesome. 
What the hell? I never heard of this place. Synthetics? Wow. So they have... <laughs> <laughs> they don't just have a shelf of stuff. They have whole stores of stuff here. This is something. Holy crap, Olio. Quality yeah. looks so good. So this is what it would look like if you had a full frame camera on okay. that lens. Yep. Um, however, because that lens or that camera is a crop sensor, mm -hmm. it looks like, like this. I was actually just talking with a guy named Preston. He actually starting a YouTube channel, but... They already did one episode. It was amazing. The editing was super good. I actually asked him if he wanted to edit a video for me, and he said yes. So I said, why don't you just come with us? Look at this. On an exploration, you could help film it and then edit it. So he's going to do that. You guys meet Preston soon. But look at all these microphones. Yo, this is dope. Bro, I need to step up my equipment game so bad coming here. I got nothing. What? I got cameras over here. Oh, yeah. I want to get the... What's the new GoPro? Right there. That's the 13. Is the new one? Damn, that's what I want right there. Camera I want to get right there, but I got to get lenses for it. That I can start doing full length... Or um, I can do like actual movie quality. They've got crazy, they've got crazy black magic. Yeah. Dude, but I also need to get mics. Uh, my plan, guys, is uploading every day this month. Obviously, you know that. Um, that way in November, I will get a fat paycheck and then I'm going to use that money to put into my business and put back into this channel. So I'm going to be looking to get one of those cameras. So we'll see. Yeah, all these different sections, the recording, the lighting, that might be a cool section. So much to see here. Holy crap. They weren't lying when they said world largest. Hey, that is just the beginning. I got an entire food court here. Oh my gosh. This is just one floor. I didn't realize they have recording studios here, so you can actually come in, record your own music. I mean, this is nuts. Look at this. I think if I lived here, I would learn to play an actual musical instrument, not just a triangle. We decided to get some food. I got a chicken wrap, but you actually like type in what you get and you pay yourself here. Never seen that, that's pretty neat, but I already paid. I got a quadruple tall, long espresso. Must have came on a slow day because it is like empty bro is it it's never usually this empty is it hell no i was gonna say this place probably during the day usually. dude it's crazy dude this looks good just got some really good news too my boy omar gosh tv he helped hook up for me and my boy chris uh, Casey. for me my boy chris and casey to go to indiana state sanatorium for the entire night we have it from 5 p.m. till 10 a.m. And guys, I've heard that it's more haunted than Waverly Hills Sanatorium. I love going to abandoned places and especially when I have permission. So this is gonna be awesome. Man, I told you guys, Famtober is gonna be next level. Dude, is that a freaking slide inside here too? What? Oh, hell no. Hell no, it's a good thing I just got brand new socks. <gasps> yeah. Here's my hat. Wee! I'm gonna get my hat down there. Let's go. I've been on since I was a kid. Uh, yeah. what a How was that? Slide, bro. That was awesome. I'm doing it again. Creepy road. So you get to this place, 13 cemeteries or 13, what's it called? 13 graves. 13 graves. You gotta go on this dirt road. Okay, this is, I could see at nighttime, this would be super creepy. It's right on the river. Is it? Oh, yeah. dang. This is cool. So we're actually headed to an abandoned school right now, but uh, before we get there, Chris wanted to show this to me to see if it'd be worth coming back and making a video. Dude, just this forest alone is worth a video. Bro, yes, I wanna make a video here. I already think you say yes, but you guys are gonna have to tell me. Let's check out the cemetery just for the forest i would oh okay i see the river dude this is spooky back here yeah you went back here oh uh, yeah we can get in here anytime at night uh nighttime maybe iffy <laughs> three o'clock in the morning <laughs> yeah you'd probably all right yeah buddy we may kick you out yeah this is it right here oh yeah i see it 
Yeah, maybe you can't get inside of there or it shouldn't be inside of there afterwards. Oh. I mean, you can go in. Is there hours posted? You can actually go in there now. Yeah. Is there hours posted anywhere? No. Yeah, sunrise, sunset. Uh, gotcha. You know what's crazy though, dude? Uh -huh. uh, across the street here, um, you can't see it. This is somebody else's property. Mm -hmm. But there is still concrete foundation over across the road. My friend said there was an old school for the blind. Oh, over, really? Over there, yes. That is knocked down now? Or? Yeah, it's knocked down. There's oh, okay. like some concrete. There's Dang. concrete stuff. I think left. I heard of that place before the school, the abandoned school yeah. of the blind, but it got, I, I didn't ever went there because it got knocked down. But yeah, cool. Bro, what a spooky freaking place this is, guys. Um, I'm just honestly glad that I'm making it out of this place. An abandoned school where I didn't get arrested. I think that's pretty dope. Made it to the exit. I'm getting out of here. Oh, man. Staying at a haunted jail. Not a let alone, like, going to nonstop haunted places. I swear it takes a lot out of you. But, uh... We went to an abandoned school last night. It was super cool. My buddy Chris is getting ready to pick me up. We got a few hour drive. We're going to this like abandoned ghost town. I suppose like a funeral home there as well. And uh, yeah, we're not stopping guys, nonstop. I've been having some weird stuff happen here at the jail while I've been here. I haven't filmed since the first night, but I just heard a noise from in here. Now it's quiet. Weird. I, I gotta get ready for my boy Chris to pick me up. That's an old schoolhouse? No, over here to the left, dude. Oh, I can't see over there, it's too dark. Yeah. Okay. Very interesting town. There's the abandoned general stores right down here to the how many people live in this town right here? 40? Like 40. Wow. I think the general store's right here. Dude. Where's the McDonald's? Right here to your right. Oh, okay. Where's the McDonald's at? In another damn town. <laughs> All right, just ordered some Chinese food. Woke up, I was in a jail. I got no food, I'm hungry. I was looking for deliveries and I really like, was like only Burger King. So it was like a couple minute walk to the Chinese place. Just ordered it, it's gonna be 15 minutes. But I saw some really cool stores down here. So we're in uh, the downtown Hartford city area. The jail that I am staying at is literally just like a few blocks down the street. But I noticed like most of these businesses are closed. I know you guys are looking at that awesome building right there. Ask them how come all the cool buildings and all these cool towns are always city halls? I don't know, but I'd like to go ghost hunting there. I bet you there's some, some history between that place. There's a really cool magic shop over here that's open. I wanna go check this out. And come here, play some batting cages, dance studio. I mean, they got some, some cool little, little businesses in this small town which I love. You gotta have your dentist, of course. Nothing would be proper without a bakery, but it's closed. And yeah, I don't know, a tattoo, and here's the magic shop. So we're gonna check this out on the down low. We'll see if there are nice people here. Pretty cool store. Well, thank you. Yeah, I like it. I love the love the stuff here for sure. Yep. Uh, Monday night we we're open up. Uh, Monday night we're we're telling people they can come in and um, we'll help them paint miniatures and do stuff like that. Okay. I also have 350 games in my library that you can come in and play at any time no you want kidding. to. So it's a free place to come and play and hang out. Oh man, um, I wish I had a place Tuesday like that night, when I was a kid. Tuesday night we do Pokemon. Um, I'm about to open my Christmas store here up in another week. Me. I'm fixing it up. Oh, okay. Behind my Christmas store, um, starting November 1st, is a full Santa experience. Oh. I'd love to see Santa. The oh, me. Uh, okay. I have Mrs. Claus's cookie shop, there's a snowball area, Elf Village, and then upstairs is a full Santa 
world. Really? Um, and what we do is we do it by reservation for family. Okay. And we have an elf that takes them through everything. No kidding. How long have you been doing that for? About four years. Me. And Neat. so it's a full family experience. Instead, oh, of, yeah. instead of three minutes on the lap, yeah. you get a full experience. Oh, I bet you the community loves that. All right, that was cool and interesting. But I got my food. I'm gonna walk back over to the jail. I gotta go down about three or four blocks and over two blocks, I think. Marty, the clock tower, the clock tower, Marty. And just like that, I'm back at the jail. Pretty cool place. It's neat because uh, the dungeon area, AKA solitary confinement, which is in the basement, used to be able to, maybe you still can access it from that door. And this is how I've always gone in. I didn't even realize the fronts were on the other side. And I've never actually even seen the front. Just got my video up for today, which was uh, basically pranking the public, embarrassing ourselves. But I'm sitting in front of the jail here and I forgot to tell you guys. Do you remember day one of Famtober? Uh, I actually uploaded a video from the Monroe Demon House. Well, wouldn't you know it? That's the Monroe Demon House right there. I mean, talk about a bunch of haunted locations in one spot. But yeah, gotta come to Hartford City, Indiana. If you do wanna come here, make sure you check out my boy Chris from Haunted Excursions. He's got the connection to all these places, so that's your connect right there. All right, guys, so another night here at the jail, and we just got some really great news. We just got a call that the Monroe house, AKA Demon house is actually available tonight. Now I'm here for like 10 days more and I found out that the Monroe house is booked every single night while I'm here. Somehow there was a last minute cancellation and yo, I am so scared. I'm gonna do an alone video there. And last time, if you've seen the very first day of Famtober, which was on October 1st, me and my boy Omar Gosh TV went there last year and it was just insane. Right now, I'm gonna go do it again. There's the jail right there. And literally right down the street, we got the Monroe house. Freaking crazy basement. They found actually Nick Groff. I'm sure a lot of you guys know who that was or is. He was doing an investigation inside there in the basement, found a crawl space and there was actual human bones in there. I mean, you wanna talk about creepy? Not to mention, I called this video the house that kills people because not only has there been a bunch of deaths in there, there was a cult leader living in there, mysterious deaths of children and adults, like pretty damn spooky. I remember when I was here with Omar, literally the scariest thing ever. He wouldn't even go use the bathroom alone. I'm about to check this place out all by myself. Uh, wish me luck, fam. Oh, I remember doing an intro here on Omar's video, and I seen something in the freaking window up there, which is crazy because all the windows are covered up by garbage bags. So, yeah. Ooh, I can't go that way. <laughs> Guess I got to go around. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I think so. Anyhow, this is going to be coming up very soon on a video. I'm sure you guys are excited to see an all alone video here at the Monroe house. I'm not really looking forward to making it to be honest with you. But um, I also have my friends coming to meet me here later and we're gonna film a video together. So I actually have two videos that I'll be making here tonight. Oh my gosh, bro, the creepiness is just off the charts. Wait, I thought there was like a driveway to... I'm confused. Am I... Is that not the right house? Oh no, that's the right house. You gotta go down here. And there should be like a fence or a gate or something. Well, that's it right there. <laughs> Usually that gate is closed. Oh no. Hey, just stepping up on here. I'm kind of freaked out, I ain't gonna lie. But I will tell you this, I will be saying a prayer before my body enters that door right there. Very important for any place that's demonic. Prayer up, 
prayer up, fam. Anyhow, my buddy Chris is here. We're gonna film a video together. It's gonna be super insane. He's actually doing a live stream as well. And then at 3 a.m., I'm gonna be doing an all alone challenge here and I'm freaking terrified. So wish me luck and that'll be coming up on a video very soon. We were in, today we're in old Sandusky, Ohio. Nope. Upper. Upper. There's two upper. different ones. Why is that old? Here? I know there's two, Sandusky, is Ohio, there? and then okay. there's Upper. Upper, upper. Sandusky, okay. Ohio. Yep. We're actually in, up. we're in Upper Sandusky, Ohio. Believe it or not, we're at a flower shop, but we're not here for the flowers. Something underneath this place is holding a secret. And tonight we're gonna find out. Got Mandy from Ghost Sisters. Now we're gonna separate. You guys are going into the basement to start, right? We're going down there in the into tunnels. The, and there's yeah. tunnels. See, there's a basement and then there's tunnels, which is so creepy. All right, well, let me know what happens down there. And then we'll I'll, I'll come down there in a little bit. Maybe we'll do a sound deprivation session all together down there. Cool, sounds good. All right, all right. dope. Okay. If there's any spirits here, we'd love to hear from you. Is there anybody here? I don't want you to be afraid of me. I'm here to help you if you need any help. Whoa, whoa. Literally, as I said that, the freaking a bell or something starts ringing. I don't know, there's something about being in like claustrophobic areas that when things do happen or you start hearing things happen, it becomes much more intense. I was hoping I'd be able to catch like an orb or, you know, be cool to catch an apparition down here. That's All right, guys. Here with James. Yeah, yeah, what's up? Andy. So this used to be the Star Theater. Oh, Lord. I, it's not, we're not investigating that. You're investigating. You're, investigating. You're putting us into a closet? I can't go. I'm scared. Is there like that light? Gucci. <laughs> Well, we'll let the lead investigator, Mandy, go first. Wait, I'm gonna give her a light. <laughs> I need a light, guys. Yeah. A light? <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, boy. That is upstairs. Downstairs, you have to come back into the bar. To the basement, yeah. yep. Okay, okay. Cool. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Not been oh, get myself yeah. through. You can shut us if you want to. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, you can shut that me that door for us. Right. You guys do your thing, just be careful. Okay, thank okay, you. Thank you. Are you good? Yeah, I'm straight. Yeah. Spoochy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're going to the Yeah, So we can shut these doors as we, you know, investigate oh, back yeah. here. Yeah. And it goes upstairs. Oh, wow. And here's a kitchen right here. So, so set up area? <laughs> well, yeah. uh -huh. I don't know where the light is. Oh my light. Oh, so dark. Can't see nothing. Chris and Mandy are actually both live streaming right now. And uh, I was in it for a little bit. And I'm like, I'm going to go outside, call my boy, refresh, because we're going to do an investigation in there. I will say this the bar downstairs, you can kind of hear it upstairs. So, not sure how crazy that'd be. I originally had planned to do the video from the, the underground flower shop and this one separately. But as you guys probably already could tell, we're keeping it together. Unless I add this to my vlog, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just filming tons and tons and I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. But cool area, I'm gonna walk in this block, see what's here. I always love exploring, you know, these towns or new towns that I've never been to, especially smaller cities. And I don't think this is necessarily a smaller city compared to a lot of the cities I go to. But you could tell like these buildings, like they're definitely old. They've been here for a hundred plus years, like this this strip for sure. But yeah, this is the street where the uh, revolutionary soldiers marched down and played soccer. Unfortunately, they'll talk about, I think they called it demonic, demonic kickball back then. <laughs> Ah, what the fuck is that on me? Oh, shit, that scared me. Ah, that touched my neck. Brother, is that the, is you? Yeah, I heard it going off and then something. Guys, I just seen something. Okay, I 
thought it was you walking by here. I just seen a shadow go by here. No joke. Oh, Let geez. me tell you how I just seen how this all just played out. We're walking in here, and I thought James was right here. I seen the shadow walk by real quick. Same time that's going on, so I thought it was James over heading over here. Yeah. And then I look, and James is down there. Yeah. So I seen a shadow walk right, right by. Really. The same time that rim pod going I heard the rim pod going off. I turned around, and something touched my neck. Really. And it freaked me out. Now it could have been the thing that's like hanging from there. That's probably what touched my neck. But yeah, the rim pod going off is crazy because that thing barely ever goes off. Ah, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, man, I came outside, checked the weather before I got dressed and stuff this morning, it's like one o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, I know this door locks, but the thing is, when you slightly close it, it will stay, you know, fine, um, and I was, I was, I was right there and all of a sudden I heard a noise. It sounded like a door close. And I'm like, what the hell? How did that door close? The wind can't close it. Like literally you, I have to show you when I get it open, uh, literally something closed this freaking door and it wasn't the wind. Now I'm locked out. That's awesome. Ah, uh, no. Well, shoot. I just tried calling my, my buddy Chris, who uh, actually has another set of keys here, and he didn't answer, so, I don't know, I can't even go anywhere, I got no shoes, it sucks. So, unfortunately, I have not been able to get a hold of my buddy Chris, and as I'm just sitting here, the more and more I think about it, I'm hanging out right here, and all of a sudden, I hear the door go boom. There's no wind, first of all, out here. I mean, literally, there, there's there's some wind, but there's not enough wind to, like, take a metal door and literally push it past. Like, I'll have to show you when I open it. There's a, a thing that keeps it from locking when you close it, unless you push it past that. And you literally have to forcefully do it. Like, if I was to, like, just kind of gently push the door, it, it wouldn't even do that. Something had to forcibly close this door. And yeah, the fact that I've been staying here and you know, I, a lot of times I have my headphones on, I'm not paying attention to stuff. I hear a noise, I just pass it off. But I legit think something in there literally closed the door on me. I'm sure it thinks it's very funny, by the way. It's not very funny. I mean, maybe a little to some people, but not me, not right now, maybe later. <laughs> and there he is. What's up, buddy? Stop it. Stop laughing at me. I told you not to do. I know, but let me ask you a question. Okay. Uh, be straight up with me, okay? After you open this, I got a question. Okay. Go ahead, open this up. Because okay. I'm seriously, like, really... Oh, jeez. almost tripped on that. Okay. All right. That's a lot. All right. So, you leave it like that, right? Yeah. And so you can open it. You just slightly do it. Now, when I was there, I heard a... It's not going to close. Like that. So, not that it's unlocked, but... Here. What I'm saying is, is yeah. there any way... Is there any way, like... If the wind no. hit it... Like, you'd have to hit it that hard to get it to close. That's the only way it closed. Something closed this door. Like, I think the spirits in there think they're funny. Shit. Yeah, like Y'all think you're funny, huh? I know there's somebody in here. It's okay. You got me. It was a good one. Dude, I can't believe that actually happened. But I, I knew there was no way the wind could cause that to happen. No, nah, wind doesn't close that. <sighs> All right, I got to edit. I'm going to order some food online to be delivered. And I was literally in bed, so that's why you're sitting outside for an hour. Uh, no, well, I appreciate you coming, but it's only 2 in the afternoon. Hey, we were out there like 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning last night filming, so it's understandable. But hey, I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know if you like these vlogs. Should I continue them on this trip? Uh, I don't know. You guys let me know. Make sure you check out my boy Chris over there from Haunted Excursions, and I'll see you on the next adventure. Love you, fam. Peace.